Have you ever wondered how pros just make it look so simple? The awesome power drives down the wall. It looks like they hardly even move. Well, here's the punch drive introduction to give you an understanding of just the differences in the type of shots and just what you can get if you learn how to punch drive. Hi, Gary Peterson here. We're going to take a look at the punch muscles and what you can do with a punch drive. Now, I need you to clearly understand that the punch drive is a little bit different to your standard drive, which is your standard drive down the wall as in a forehand drive and you also swing the racket in different directions depending on what you want to achieve. So say the ball was close to the side wall, you tend to drive a little bit more towards the side wall to get the outcome to be able to keep the ball on the wall. If the ball was out away from the side wall, you'd strike down on the ball more and have a full swing and you'd finish up through here. And if the ball was away from the side wall, out here, you may drive inside, stand up more, go full extension. But that's another lesson. What we're going to do today is teach you about punch driving. Now punch driving, what that does, is it uses your core muscles. Now that is a different drive to your standard forehand drive. So with your standard forehand drive, it will be a full swing. You'll come from here and you'll swing through. Not just similar to this, all the way through. With your punch drive, you'll actually use different muscles to be able to hit. Now the interesting thing about punch driving is the fact that as you get better, you actually use a, a certain amount of the punch in every single shot that you play. So when you play the big full drive with all the follow through and all the rest of it, you actually use punch muscles as part of that forehand drive. So you may use from here to here, you really lock and go really strong and then you'll come out through the shot. So punch driving is unbelievable to learn. The options are fantastic. But secondly, you use that in a component of the rest. So I need you to clearly understand that this is not the way I want you to hit every single forehand. This is an option for you to use, which is exceptional because you come out of your shot extremely quickly and you get an awesome quality target out of it. And it can be used in absolutely every single point or every single shot to a certain degree. So you can punch in virtually any shot. If you go from the front of the court, from the back of the court. On a volley, it's really quite good. You can even, it's extremely good for punching cross court because you get a really short swing and it really doesn't upset the balance of your body as well. And if you put a bit of punch into your boast, it's really quite amazing the power you can generate off such a short swing. Now just to show you the power of that or the, the ability to actually dig stuff out when it's absolutely short, if I have no follow through at all and put heaps of punch into my shot from here, and that just basically digs out really easily, goes to quality target without too much trouble. It really is quite amazing. So if you look at all the high level players today and what they're doing, you notice they're not having all the big swings, they're not doing all this, they basically come back hit, they, they're out, straight away. There's no time for any stopping. Same backhand there, bang, out. So it really is a, the best possible thing you can learn and that's why I've chosen to actually put this in the series first so you can understand exactly the benefits of punching and you can incorporate it into your game and get instant benefit from your game. So this is one of the greatest skills you will learn in squash and once you get hold of it, you'll absolutely love what it can do for you.